Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will do a introduction a video for the Daiwa Stitch E2. I will put the parameters on the screen so you can read by yourself. You will decide by yourself to see whether it's necessary to add this reel to your pocket. In order to make the comparisons, I have the Steeds SVTW and the Daiwa Steeds A2 in my left hand. There is an improvement that I need to mention is how to open the side cover. There is only one way to open the old Steeds SVTW. There is a switch and then you will have the side cover, you have the spoon. But for the Steeds A2, there is an additional additional switch. Yes. So it's much easier than before. And you can see here, here is another switch. You can also use the original ones, and then you can use the additional ones. Up to your choice. Talking about the spoon, spoon. I'm not sure where the GoPro can record the camera to uh, clearly. I will put these parameters on screen. Here we have the MagZ Boost, which means it is equipped with MagZ Boost brake system in this. This A2. And this one is the SV Boost. SV Boost probably is better for small, small bees, small lures. And this one is for bigger, bigger lures, such like the, such like the one on Spoon, um, half ounce Mino. And uh, one fourth ounce jig head. This one is for one sixteen ounce jig head, maybe double. You can see there are additional holes in the SV boost It is it's a SLP bowl. It's not the original. Original one here. Original spool in here. This is the original SV, SV spool. It also has the additional holes in here. And this is your very similar to each other. I'm wondering whether I can put the SV boost in the states A2. Equipped with the SV boost, but I'm not sure uh, how the brake system work with smaller lures. But the uh, the same size spoon, it also has the Dragson. But I would not recommend using two different spoons on the us. Uh, in a similar bit caster. Okay. Um. 
we'll take a picture. These are the P lines that I use for saltwater fishing. You can find them at the Academy store. On the left is the Power Pro. This is the 20 pound model. You can see the line cap. The line diameter is 0 0.27 20 0 0.23 millimeter which is less which is less than the 30 pounds and this one is the surfix braid line this is the 30 nearly the same it means that you can put on nearly 100 meters this line to the rail and for Angela who have used this line for fishing knows the strength of this brand it's really tough I can tell you that I use 10 pound surface braid and uh, none of those fish broke it while fighting. Hey guys, first cycle is my, my, my new reel. Let's take a picture. Stop, stop. Hi hey guys, small speckle. The first fish with Dinona is a, a ladyfish.
Oh, shark. It's a big shark. Yeah, it's a big fish. Yes. Oh! It's a shark. Oh, it cut. It cut my life. Hey guys, this is 14, 14 inch manual snapper. Yes! Yes, let's put it in the cooler. Jail 我都不想好